Northside High School administrators, the Roanoke County School Board, and a former coach are under fire tonight after two former students filed a lawsuit against them. Yeah, this lawsuit claims that the coach groomed these two alumni for sexual abuse. Ted News reporter Alyssa Ray joins us now. And Alyssa, these are obviously some pretty serious accusations. Yeah, they certainly are. Their claims allege sexual harassment and abuse these two students say they faced while at Northside and the administration's lack of actions to protect them. Northside High School is at the center of a $19 million lawsuit filed by two former students claiming violations of Title IX guidelines. The lawsuit that was filed Tuesday in federal court details how two students, referred to as Jane Doe 1 and Jane Doe 2, were allegedly groomed and sexually abused by a former teacher. One went to school from 2015 to 2019, the other from 2017 to 2021. They share similar experiences. Lor Stan Allen is one of the defendants in this case. He coached the Vikings boys soccer and wrestling teams. The lawsuit says phone conversations and offers to drive the Jane Doe's home turned into unwanted touching and inappropriate comments regarding their body. The lawsuit states that Allen asked one of the girls to send him pictures of her in her underwear and in a bikini. The Northside administration is named in the lawsuit based on allegations that they knew this behavior was happening and nothing was being done. No action was taken except to install a swinging half door in his office, and Allen was instructed to keep the doors open, according to the report. There was a policy that students couldn't cross a certain line in his office, a policy that was not enforced. Lastly, the lawsuit says one of the girl's fathers reportedly spoke with administrators about Allen's harassing, grooming, and stalking behaviors, but that no action was taken against Allen. Allen was employed by Northside until last year, but because of the pending litigation, Roanoke County Schools says it will not comment on why his employment ended. We also reached out to John Fishwick, the lawyer representing the students. He declined to speak on camera, but said he respects his client's courage in pursuing the matter. Live in the studio, Alyssa Ray, 10 News, working for you.